So, ladies and gentlemen, with that, we are moving on to our fireside chat where we would have Dr. Anurag Batra, Chairman and Editor in Chief, BW Business World in Exchange for Media, back on the screen in conversation with Mr. Gaurav Gandhi, Director and Country General Manager, Amazon Prime Video India. Gaurav Gandhi is Director and Country General Manager at Amazon Prime Video India. He at Amazon is responsible for driving the business of Prime Video in India. Before this, he was the Chief Operating Officer at Viacom 18 Digital Ventures, where he launched the company's video streaming service, Voot. Now, as they get in conversation, they will be talking about the topic, why the new Indian consumer is the savior of the OTT play. So ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together, or rather your virtual applause for Dr. Anurag Batra in conversation with Mr. Gaurav Gandhi, Director and Country General Manager, Amazon Prime Video India. Good afternoon. It's our honor and privilege to talk to a media and entertainment leader, uh, somebody who's leading the charge for Amazon in the OTT space. Uh, let me welcome Mr. Gaurav Gandhi today uh, for a conversation with Exchange for Media. Gaurav, thank you for talking to Exchange for Media and addressing this very important screenagers conference. We all are uh, having teenager kids, but we are screenagers, you know. We do everything on the screen. And OTT has become a primary way of interacting with the screen. So tell us how has been this journey for you personally from traditional broadcasting to OTT? What is same and what has changed? First of all, thank you for having me, Anurag. It's a pleasure being here. Um, I think it's it's a really interesting time for streaming and OTT in general. I think that we've been seeing for the last few years very strong tailwinds to category overall. Um, you know, the consumer habits have been changing. Uh, we have a young demographic who's really hungry for content and prefers uh, the on-demand way of viewing content. We've had, uh, you know, we always have, uh, uh, in, in a country which was largely a single TV home, a country with 95% you know, of homes have one TV, the mo ubiquitous mobile phone, affordable mobile phone became like the, the second screen and third screen in the house. Uh, we also have the cheapest data uh, in the world, mobile data. Um, and, 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 you know, linked to that, we have seen increasing disposable incomes, improving digital pay, uh, you know, infra, and so on. So I think they've been all um, sort of catalysts of having this this, uh, this this sector really boom. I think what's also happened really is the fact that, uh, you know, with the, uh, with the advent of local original content, customers have really tasted, uh, you know, kind of content they've never seen before. And, and to see world-class cinematic value content being created here with local stories which connect customers so much more, uh, they really feel that this is distinguished and different from what they've seen before locally. Uh, we've all known, you talked about broadcast, and we've seen that over the years, that because of the economic model broadcast had, and because of the fact that uh, you, know, you are working on largely an advertising-led sector, you are working to, to cater the ratings that you of that sector, the currency of the sector. And that led to the, you know, a very formulaic led of, uh, you know, kind of content being made. Uh, so in, in many ways, streaming uh, has liberated that the storytelling. And we are able to tell so many different kinds of stories and customers are able to see that. The second thing I think streaming is able to do is really get content to cross boundaries geographically. And I see within India and outside of India as well. Uh, interestingly, uh, within India, I'll give you an interesting stat. Uh, as you're aware, we released a whole bunch of di direct to digital movies uh, uh, recently, uh, where, you know, during the pandemic. And for our local language films, uh, Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam, and Kannada for the for the for the premieres, we actually saw in the first few weeks, 50% of their audience came from outside their home state. So in the past, you know, you would have a challenge of uh, movies getting distribution, uh, some South movies getting distribution and North and vice versa. Similarly, you see Mirzapur launching, uh, you know, in weeks, 180 countries actually watched it. Same for Gulabo Satavo and, and, and Shakuntala. So I think we, what we're seeing really is geography really not mattering as much as it did in the past with the broadcast world. And I think the, 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 the final thing I would say is that Indian customers, you know, people say they are actually cost conscious. I think they're very value conscious. So when they actually start seeing value um, in what's being, you know, served to them and given to them, and they have the option to take that, 
uh, we are actually seeing really a big uptake on that front. So I think all of that put together really makes this category really interesting right now for us. So well put, Gaurav. And clearly, with what you do and your background, you have a kind of a vantage uh, view from where you are. We're in the thick of those uh, decisions that get content, that decide what uh, business model around content needs to be done. Uh, now, there is a big, uh, you know, kind of thinking that, you know, OTT is only for millennials or primarily millennials. But COVID has shown us that in the last eight months, all of us have become millennials. We have become screenagers in the sense that, you know, we are consuming OTT. Now, uh, bust this myth that OTT is just millennials. I think uh, the fact is, first of all, uh, streaming video in general, Nurag, uh, with you know, 300, 400 million people actually streaming video, any form of video online, uh, you know, one cannot at all say that it's only for millennials or it's only for metros and so on. It is really mainstream. That's part one. In fact, if you project it three to four years out, uh, there is no reason why number of people actually streaming video in any form and manner will be lesser than television um, in the country. So that's at a, at a very high level. I think what's been very, very interesting for us is the advent and the growth of pay streaming services, the SWOT services, as we call them, um, led, by, led by a bunch of factors. And I can give you two, of, two or three that we have worked on. We talked about you know, really local uh, cinematic, high cinematic value storytelling. We also have a scenario where uh, in India, where, which we have challenges of the number of screens. Uh, the fact of the matter is for 2000 odd films being made, for a country of billion plus, which is hungry for content, we have nine and a half thousand cinema screens. That makes to about eight screens per million. And that number is really small compared to the US, China, or other markets. I think the and, and another interesting stat would be that the biggest films released in the country, the, the super hits, are actually watched by less than a percent or percentage, one and a half percent people in the theaters. So that gives a great opportunity for for streaming to be able to cross the geographical boundaries, to be able to really get those films out to customers. And I think uh, make a theater at home in a manner of speaking. So I think linked to the fact that great cinematic value, original content, you know, the fact big movies come across languages, global co content comes here, has led to the fact that paid streaming services have become, you know, quite mainstream. For us, for example, Prime Video is watched in about 4,300 towns and cities in the country and goes really deep. Um, now that's that. That's it, it, so. It's it's a it's one myth is that it's it's watched only in metros. The services are. Second thing I think is on age demo. The interesting point of view here is that it's a very personalized medium. Um, you know, so it serves to the need of the members of of the family or or uh, you know household or a friends group, and um, to that extent. Uh, what you like and what you want is could be different from what you talked about, you know, or what your teenage daughters would want, or or my teenage daughters would want, um, or or what our spouses will like, or our friends will like. So so therefore, I think uh, to that degree, it's not at all means it's not at all uh, a, a, a medium for only millennials. A very interesting stat we saw was when we released many of our um, direct to streaming movies, we saw big consumption happening. And the living room devices in sitting at home and during this lockdown period, where families enjoyed these movies together. So I, I think uh, you you have shows that you would love to watch in your personal times. You'll have shows you like to watch with your family. Uh, you like you'll have to have love to have conversations about those shows with your family and your friends and so on. So it's far more mainstream than people talk think it is. Thank you, Gaurav. You remind me of a column that I wrote. Said you know digital will lead to narrow casting, one-on-one -on -one viewing. You know, narrow broadcasting is like same content for many people. Narrow casting is narrow. And you know, Absolutely. I now want to, you to tell us a bit about um, what is in it for advertisers? What is the kind of audiences? You can talk about, uh, you know, Prime, but give us a sense of what's happening overall in terms of OTT so that advertisers know that it's already a substantial impact through the audiences that are glued onto OTT? I think, yeah, while we are an ad-free service, I can think generally speaking, if we talked about the large audience base and we talked about over 300 million people actually streaming video already. Uh, so the advertisers first seek scale. And I think there is tremendous scale there. The next advantage they seek is, is targeting. And I think 
the the ability for uh, advertisers to target the relevant audience base is there. Third, third thing they will seek is engagement, and you are able to really you know have customers who are really deeply engaged um, in this. So I think from an advertising point of view. uh the elements of scale targeting and and, and uh, engagement are all existing the next thing obviously is about how they want to use that uh, do they want to come and you know use it from regular advertising point of view or you know integrating with content and so on i think we're seeing lots of models emerging in that space so i actually feel uh, that uh, uh you know while i i'm no expert in the digital advertising sector right now in my current job but i can safely say that that sector itself is seeing such tremendous growth overall Uh, and um, you know interesting thing for us in india is that india is such a and market you know everything is growing this and that the a word business is growing and the s word business the s word business is growing absolutely yeah yeah you have you have you know in in the tv space as well you had free tv growing and pay tv growing so i think in in this in this very interesting phase we are all in uh, uh, you know all the sectors growing it's it's a it's a great time for customers to enjoy that content is also a fantastic time for advertisers to find new ways to reach those customers absolutely got uh, now you know content creators because of ott platforms have got a new window of opportunity which is very big tell us for content creators what does the future uh, hold you know give us a sense of how prime sees the future and while you talk of movies uh, you know short format content you know uh, formats are being experimented with on ott uh, you know new genres are being and you talked of indian language content kind of driving the next level of consumption of ott content so tell us uh, what's in store for content creators yeah i, I think uh, you know from our point of view everything starts from a from a great story right i think the fact of the matter is uh, you we talk about all the original content being created and we are very fortunate to be playing a big role in that i think the idea is about telling new authentic honest stories so whether you take uh, you know patal log or mirzapur or family man and so on th- that's really where where we all start from and telling those stories and we are fortunate to have a medium where we can tell those stories so that's part one i think the other thing is uh, you know the format is such that you are able to so there are there are many so uh, let me give you an example if you look at the the uh, and i talked about this before in a different forum but i'll i'll mention it is relevant if you looked at the 80s and the 90s maybe and even earlier when you had only the single screen theaters you could you know you could do the classic masala film where you had all things rolled into one because you were actually filling a theater full of 1000 seats your commercial model had to fill those 1000 seats when came the multiplexes you suddenly could actually make segmented cinema you could make dil chahta hai you could make gali boy in many ways streaming is able to do the segmented content creation which broadcast could not do you know you talked about your narrow cast unicast view uh, which is absolutely relevant because here we could take a customer set a large cohort who would say i like to watch these stories or this genre of content which broadcast probably could not do for the fact that you have to had a, a you know large base to address a very large audience set and not be able to segment that so i think that's one part of it so because of that you really new genres emerged which were not being tapped in the past um, second thing is that there are uh, india india has some great creators and the opportunity for them to tell stories now not just in 180 minutes or 120 minutes but able to over 10 hours or multiple seasons then emerged so you know we worked through that then the other thing is like cast in streaming the other interesting thing we have done and we have looked at and learned is you cast for the character and not the star power um, you bring the star power where required but you cast for the character and i think that's again so pankaj tripathi as karin bhaiya or ali faisal as guddu or uh, you know manoj bajpai as shrikant tiwari or you know jaydi barabar as in hathira as hathira are they they are were they are great actors and you know uh, famous names they are all first taken for the right role it want and then the idea is to take newcomers as well so we learned in bandesh for example taking rithvik and shreya uh, you know and then obviously through our marketing promotion and 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 their great performances how do you really make build fandom around them uh, and i think the last thing i would say is that um, you know content creation is involves risk taking you need to go down paths which are lesser walked lesser you know lesser taken and we shouldn't shy from experimenting and exploring new themes i'll give you one example to close the point 
comedy stand up comedy is is one space that prime video started doing pretty early and we realized this is a this is an untapped opportunity there to get great stand up comedians uh, in the in 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 the space to actually then really broad based that so whether it's you know zakir or biswa uh, and many many more who came on but then we actually moved to formatizing that stand up comedy so we have a comic stand where you look for new talent and now we've taken comic stand tamil as well you have one mic stand where famous people come and try their hand at at stand up comedy and so on so i think uh, it's a lot of experimentation uh, you know we learn and it's very early days you're all learning as you go along uh, but it's been a very fruitful and satisfying journey so far thank you gaurav uh, for so uh, eloquently articulating what you did and explain how content creators can experiment and uh, really the character is the hero or heroine there i say um now coming to my last two questions first you know in the last few weeks the government has tried to regulate the ott space uh, and the overall digital space and brought ott also in the ambit uh, what is your view as an industry leader look i think i can give you uh, you know my view first on amazon i think uh, at amazon we are remain completely committed to offering a right balance of high quality content to audiences giving having a, a freedom to content creators to create that content uh, while respecting legal and cultural sensitivities and uh, responsible and responsible content and responsible content and we and we look forward to working with the government to ensure that customers their choices their empowerment with information remain central to this discourse while ensuring we always follow the laws of the land so i think uh, there is a balance here anurag which is to be met and and we we will work with the government on that in fact the, as you are aware the um, the occp universal self regulation court came together 18 members came together and formed that court and we are and we are engaging through imai with the government on those discussions as well um, so the idea is finding the right balance thank you so much my last question if i talk to you 12 months from now and i'm not taking a 3 year 5 year because in ott space in digital space 3 year 5 year is like a century you know it's not even a decade but if i talk to you in 12 months from now uh, what are your predictions for the ott space and what would have amazon prime accomplished in the next 12 months i think um, there's lots to look forward to what on prime video is doing uh, you know uh, uh, new shows coming uh, more films obviously we announced our first a foray into live sports with uh, new zealand cricket as well uh, i think uh, at a, at a category level i think we see a few big trends uh, one is that the you know the demand overall for the category is increasing quite rapidly uh, and and going deeper and deeper behaviors are changing and it's going to not just you know tier 1 but tier 2 tier 3 cities and and far deeper but i'd mentioned to you that we are being watched in 4300 towns and cities already um, the second thing is that mobile obviously continues to be the big you know big driver but living room consumption is growing quite rapidly as well as customers get to um, you know um, uh, you know fundamentally uh, you know get fixed broadband at home have the yeah, access to more affordable smart tv smart tvs or smart streaming players um, you know which they can access large screen that's happening as well and that's that's a new thing the other thing is that you know is interesting about the growth of language and we talked about local language content and you know we have done a lot of investments around we program for 10 indias as we call it for now at least many indias where 10 languages are being programmed on the service um, and and going quite deep on on you know films and now shows in several languages uh, but the other interesting thing for us is that what's happening with languages overall is that's no longer a barrier to consume content i mentioned to you a stat about 50% of the viewing for our Uh, tamil telugu malayalam kannada dts films came outside the 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 home states we are seeing the reverse as well happening where when you put parasite uh, you know which was a oscar winning film the hindi dubs really expanded the reach of that uh, absolutely in a so so i i think th- there is there is indian content which is you know being consumed pan india and going global the international content uh, you know coming here and going deeper and the last thing i would say is that uh, we are going to see um, indian shows and indian stories becoming more global and getting on the big stage we already see one in five of our customers for in uh, amazon, indian amazon originals coming from outside of india and some shows even more uh, we've already seen 
for our big DTS films, um, you know, 180 countries, you know, c- consuming them, watching them in the first few weeks. I really believe that um, Indian original shows and, and films will actually really become big uh, around the world in the next few years as we create great new stories. So all of this makes it super, super exciting for us, um, you know, in the category overall. And it's very early days in the category, uh, but a lot to look forward to. Thank you so much, Gaurav. It's been a pleasure talking to you and I uh, learned something new and I'm sure our viewers and our readers will learn something new and capitalize on this opportunity called OTT. We're all consumers. I watch Parasite in Hindi because I was recommended to watch it. So clearly what you're saying is not just theory, but it it is actually happening there. You're just articulating the reality. We wish you and Amazon Prime luck and uh, I'm sure the OTT marketplace uh, in next 12 months will grow by leaps and bounds. And uh, uh, as you rightly said, there is space for everyone there. Uh, it's and, 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 and. Uh, so uh, all the best. Uh, I'm sure you will do well and Amazon Prime will do well. Uh, all right, thank, thank you so you. much. Always a pleasure talking to you. Thank you thank so you much. Thank you so much. For-